Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, June 10th of 2019. Um, it is almost 5 a.m. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas, and I'm hoping that right now the audio is good. I've been having if you've been following my videos, you know, have you been using headsets in the past? Well, I started with uh, YouTube in 2005, so I've gone through, you know, using USB webcam and the microphone on it and to going through different microphone hookups and what have you. And for a long time, been using headsets and it worked out great. Then I, let's see. Thought I had them sitting over here, but I don't, unless they're buried. I've used uh, Blue Yeti, all types of different microphones. And none of them have, you know, they're all great microphones. I, they just haven't worked out really well for me. I keep going back to the headsets that, that you know, work better for me. Uh, I don't know why I switch away from them. Uh, one thing I think I like, you know, the boom with the gold or silver, you know, microphone or whatever, but those mics usually have to be licking range of the uh, microphone to get the good audio. And then recently when I made the, the switches, the sync has been out really bad. So I'm back using uh, the headset. I uh, tried this one, <clears throat> the Sadie's uh, AW30, and it's a USB one. And uh, okay, that's you know USB one. It worked okay. I just tried it a while ago, but I didn't upload anything with it. And it's kind of rare for me. I, uh, with this headset, it uh, uses a you know 3.5 jack audio plug-in, and that's what I'm using now. And it appears, uh, we'll see when we get this uploaded, appears to be working, you know, okay. It's, uh, for some reason, kind of unusual for me to use uh, the headsets that use the audio jacks. It's usually I've been using the ones that use the uh, USB. So uh, so this is a, again a uh, sort of a test of uh, I had trouble with uh, like I mentioned audio being out of sync. It's really probably drives me more crazy than it does you, but I think it probably does you too. My, my hands hurt from today doing, you know, counting and clapping and then checking to see if the, and adjusting the sync offset and uh, trying, you know, trying everything. I also made a change to my monitors, which as you know, if you watch my videos, I do that seems like almost daily. My 4K monitor is now back in, I put it back into 1080 mode, and then I added a uh, one of my other monitors next to it. Of course, it's in a 1080 mode because it's a 1080 monitor, it's not a 4K monitor. So I have them side by side. And over on this screen here, and I can pull it over for you, uh, so you can see what I have on the other screen. This is the control for, this is Manicam, and this is the control that I'm using to uh, set up everything and control everything. I don't have a lot of stuff uh, set up. I've never got to, the, got to that point. I've never, oh, I've always been, something else has always been stopping me from going in and utilizing everything that, uh, that it will do. Um, someone asked, just left a comment here, wanted to know if I would be interested in <clears throat> reviewing another microphone, and I really don't think I am, 
But then again, if somebody comes up with something, because I have reviewed a whole bunch of inexpensive microphones, a uh, whole bunch of moderately priced microphones, and it looks like these inexpensive headsets for me are the best way to uh, go. Now I've, uh, well, let me take off here. Let's see. Uh, I'm getting ready. I've used it a little bit. I'm getting ready to, uh, I've got it plugged in. My Panasonic G7, I have it plugged into an AC power pack, so I don't have to worry about the battery on it. I'm going to start doing more, you know, more with it. And I think it'll probably be a combination. You know, you'll see this, and then I'll add maybe video with the... Uh, with the G7. Uh, I'm tempted to, you know, Pixel has come out, or is, I think it's probably available now. Pixel has come out with a, a uh, for them, an inexpensive cell phone. I think it's actually two ninety nine. It's actually you know three ninety nine. Yeah, I think it's three ninety nine maybe. Uh, it's two ninety nine if you uh, sign up and go through a one of their you know cell phone providers. I believe that's it. And they have the I think it's the th Pixel three A. And then the Pixel 3a XL, and the XL is a little bigger and more expensive. And I'm tempted. This phone, I very rarely use my phone, but it seems like every year or two, or maybe every, I keep buying new cell phones. So I'm spending, you know. But I, I would like to think to have the Pixel experience. You know the Google Pixel experience of having a uh, bare bones uh, Android experience, not having uh, Sony with their you know extra things added to it and such, and then also uh, the new uh, Pixel cell phones. They have the fantastic camera that the more expensive the $600 or $1,000 Pixel cameras have. They have a fantastic camera, uh, and I would like to have that. And maybe that would keep me from buying. I have three Panasonic cameras. I very rarely use them, but I'm always looking at uh, you know upgrading or getting another one. Maybe if I just you know, if I got a really, really, although I have no problems with, but if I got the pixel, maybe I would satisfy me and I wouldn't have to talk myself into spending more money for cameras that I don't use. Um, news has been really, you know, really crazy recently with, uh, everything going on. I'm concerned about the Trump and the tariffs on China or whatever. And China, you know, may hit back and uh, problems that that may concern. I'm uh, concerned that we've apparently says down here, we just seized a North Korea, United States seized a North Korean cargo ship. Uh, also, uh, Pompeo warns Iran not to provoke the U.S. Oh, my God, you know. Uh, and I'm just afraid that we're going to have something like the Gulf of Tonkin thing come up, you know, where something happens and we respond to it and we have, you know, no choice but to respond 
to this situation and then we get into a conflict perhaps with North Korea or with Iran and then years later it turns out that uh, our government was not honest to us with about you know what happened in the Gulf of Tonkin. Tonkin. Uh, what else is going on? It's an interesting time. Now, you know, I, I it says here, you know, the Cat the Catholic Church host Louis Farrakhan for an anti Facebook speech and the Jewish and a Jewish group is not pleased. I haven't read this, but uh, you know, if this is one Catholic church, well, you, you know, you, you, you can't, I mean, it's not like, <clears throat> not like the church, you know, all of the church, all of the Catholic apostolic church, you know, but I don't think he should be, Louis Farrakhan is, he's right up there with, you know, the right wing, uh, hate people and uh, that type of stuff. And I don't think, but, you know, we have freedom of speech here. I don't know why the Catholic Church would, well, I guess I'll let me click on this and see what in the war, you know. Is this some Catholic Church and, uh, Let's see. Yeah, he, one church. Farrakhan. Facebook is purging several high-profile names from its platforms. Among the okay. So he told Farrakhan. I guess was speaking at the Saint Sabrina Catholic Church in Chicago. I have a feeling Chicago might be uh, the home base also of Farrakhan. I can't remember. And so. Yeah, I, I think this, I'm not saying this is fake news, but I, th you know, sure, no matter where, you know, Louis Farrakhan goes, if you ask a any Jewish group, do you approve, you know, they're going to say no. And uh, so I think it's much to do about nothing, although I think it's a mistake for that church to, uh, what does he have to say? That's uh, so. What else? Let's see. Is on the news here. Let's check the audio. One, two, three. Hope that was in sync. I'll find out when I upload it. Uh, oh, what else is going on here? I don't see it here on the front page now, but man, did you hear the racist thing that a BBC uh, radio host posted someplace? <laughs> he must have, you know, he must have wanted to be fired, you know. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how it works in the UK or whatever, but uh, maybe he wanted to lose his job. Now, over here in the United States, uh, we have a lot of, uh, and that's what this guy was. I mean, if you if you go to, I'm sure, if you tune in to BBC, you know, worldwide news, uh, he's not. He's not. He wouldn't be one of the broadcasters. If if you tune in, if you go to uh, you know, the BBC World Service or whatever it is, uh, stream from, you know, the UK. I'm sure he was, I'm sure, in fact, it, I, I remember reading that it was said, forget how they put it, but he's some, it's a British Broadcasting Corporation, but he's some local talk or DJ or does, you know, some type of thing. And uh, so... Here in the United States, we have, well, like the rest of the world, you know, 
the entire AM broadcast band is just filled with radio stations. FM is filled with radio stations and whatever. And in big cities, well, everywhere you have multiple, unless you're in a small town, you have, you know, multiple radio stations. And in a lot of these, in the big markets or whatever, you have uh, one or two guys together and they do, while people are driving to work, they think they're funny and they, they, they do, you know, they call up anonymous people and do, you know, I think, I think they shouldn't be allowed to do that. I think it is stupid. You know, they play pranks, do all kinds of stuff and people, I guess it, it gets, uh, gets them listeners and I guess people think it's, um, funny. I don't think it's funny at all. And some of those people occasionally do something that gets them fired. And this guy in uh, England or whatever is unemployed. And I think he'll have a problem finding a job. Uh, so, um, I want to bring that. I wanted to stay out of politics, but I was thinking, back when I was uh, just starting out in life, uh, started working or whatever, I don't know if they have the dates on this or not, uh, there were signs, this is before most of you were born, uh, there were signs all over, impeach Earl Warren, who was the uh, Chief Justice of the United States Supreme Court. There were these signs everywhere. Uh, the uh, and by the way, he was appointed by uh, by a Republican. There was a group which is still around that uh, you know thought that everybody they thought that they thought that Roosevelt was a communist and President Truman was a communist and. Uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower, President Eisenhower was a communist, and uh, uh, just, uh, and I knew a guy, actually, a friend of mine, he was a friend because we were uh, both interested in shortwave listening and radio or whatever, but uh, he belonged to that group, and um uh, When John F. Kennedy was assassinated, President Kennedy was assassinated, uh, he called me up on the telephone. David called on the telephone and uh, wanted to know, have you heard, you know, that President Kennedy was, you know, assassinated or whatever, and I ripped into him, you know, because at that point, it was, that's it, it just happened, you know, he called me within an hour, an hour and a half or two or something, you know, it had just happened and everything. And there was thought that it was, uh, you know, the right wing had, uh, had done it. Um, so I ripped into him and, uh, so, but this, you know, this was going on, but this is, this was, this was kind of crazy, kind of weird, uh, back then. But that was the you know far right, you know Republicans. But it was the far right. They were wasn't like it like it is now that you can be. Uh, and they've just progressed. The Republican Party has just now they took a correction. Uh, you know, and for a while because they had a. Uh, he wasn't a politician, he was a writer and a television person who spoke up against, you know, the uh, extreme right wing of the Republican Party and because uh, he was much respected in the Republican Party, that hurt the other side, that hurt the extreme right and that damaged them. And so things were settled out for, you know, for years, but then with the advent of the internet and uh, all that type of stuff and Fox News and that, 
we have you know we've gone to bizarro world it's it's uh difficult every day when i hear the news i uh you know i really i just i can't believe it i'm just so it just keeps you know the president of the united states and his attorney general are refusing subpoenas and uh giving their finger to congress and uh it's uh, it's just really it's just really weird. I mean, I, you know, if if I were writing, you know, a clock, if I were doing something like a, a movie or a book like The Clockwork Orange, but about you know this time, if I was doing, if I were writing something, and putting these things in there, people would go like, oh, that would never, you know, no, oh, that would never happen. Uh, you know, someone like uh, the current president could never be elected. Uh, I think we've all learned a lesson. And I think that's why there's, what, 20 or more, Demo you know, Democrats that uh, have announced that they're going to be, you know, running for the presidency. Because now I think, I think in the past there were people, well, thinking, I Oh, I could never be president, but now all these people are thinking, well, you know, if Donald Trump can be president, then I have it, you know. I mean, there's people that now are, you know, they're not governors and they're not senators and, you know, they're maybe they're the mayor of a small town someplace and they think, well, you know, Trump was never held any political office at all and Look how he's acting, and look how he's be behaving, and and what. So, yeah, just everything is so interesting. I mean, well, it's not the kind of interesting thing that, you know, I, I would like things to be more stable, and I'd like for us to be able to communicate across lines and disagree about things without being disagreeable. Uh, but. I'm mild mannered and easy going and I get along with I get along with people and if people have a problem I I I just figure, you know, well people have problems. People have people were raised differently, people have gone through a lot of I have no idea what kind of trauma they may have gone through in their lives. And I'm always willing to, you know, but it's gotten to the point now where I don't like these people. I don't want anything to do with these people. I don't want to talk to these people. And there is, there also, which I, I found out a long time ago, is that you, you can't change their minds. Nobody changes their mind. Like I mentioned before in the past, back starting in uh, 1982, I set up a computer bulletin board system, and there was... Uh, Dave Hallis, another guy that came along after me, and he liked my bulletin board system, and then he set up one, and he set it up a, a really good one. And he had uh, uh, discussions going on, and of course I had some discussions on mine too, but he set it up really neat and everything, so I copied his, you know, uh, the way he was doing things, a way of uh, having discussions. And, but, so we had discussions on my bulletin board system about uh, abortion, gun control, uh, all the issues, the ones we're still arguing about. It, we also had a discussion though about Beth hamburgers or whatever. On all those issues, gun control, abortion, uh, all the others. Well, what I did is I had, you know, like the points about it and the other points about it, you know, each side, you know, a fair thing on each side about it. And then there was a discussion underneath it. Nobody changed their minds ever. The only one that people changed their mind about was best hamburgers or whatever that was being discussed 
And then people did change their mind on that. But on those other issues, nobody ever, nobody ever said, oh, the points you make are really, you know, really, really well put. And and I now I agree with you, you know, never happened. So that kind of taught me something that people have this thing that they are locked into for some reason, something to do with the DNA. They're, bur- they're born conservative or they're born liberal and it has something maybe to do with the DNA, you know, maybe the, you know, the, the people who stayed close to their cave and didn't go out and explore, just stayed there and protected their cave with their own people, didn't want any others. Maybe the DNA, those people are the ones that, you know, and the ones who were, you know, uh, liberal or whatever, they went out to look around to see what was over the next hill or something like that. Some of them probably, they didn't get eaten by dinosaurs, even though there's people that, you know, in this other group over here, you know, think that humans and dinosaurs are around at the same time and that the earth is only 10,000 years old and all this kind of stuff. But, you know, so I don't know. But anyway, uh, things are a mess and... We're at a position now where we have to be sort of in this position. I mean, you can't allow the President of the United States to set himself up as a king or an emperor and ignore the other equal branches of government. You know, the President of the United States is not, uh, well, I don't want to mention federal, well, Philippines. <laughs> He can't be like the president of the Philippines, you know, is now. And there are checks and balances. Our system was set up really well. It's not working now, and it has been gradually, we know we need to retune it or, you know, fix it. But uh, uh, I don't know how it's going to happen because the other side especially, but both sides, you know, will not listen to each other now, and they will not uh, try to even understand the other person's point of view. I can remember back years ago when it wasn't quite as bad, and I was working at a small hospital, and I was the only liberal Democrat. They would actually, actually wait for me to show up for work, because when they were something in the news, Rodney King rioting or whatever there, whatever it was, they'd be waiting for me to come to work. And then, okay, Jim, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? And then they would go off on me, all of them. None of them agree, you know, agreed with me or, you know, or whatever on any issue. And uh, it's gotten worse. Uh, now, it, I can't imagine what it would be you know, of course, we shouldn't have been discussing politics or religion or whatever, but we were, actually, we were all friends. I mean, we were all friends back then. I don't think you could be now. I I think uh, it has just got to the point of being so volatile that uh, I've never, for some reason, I guess, be, I don't want to blame my parents for anything, you know, but uh, I've never been a really social person about, you know, I've never been a party, one thing, I'm not a drinker, I've never been a party goer, I mean, you could, I can't think of any parties that I ever went to in high school, I, I, I didn't go to any high school events, I mean, I had to go to the ROTC circus because that was mandatory, we, 500 of us did mass calisthenics, to, you know, that was required, but I never went to any football games or baseball. I know I uh, kind of a loner now. Wait a minute, don't expect it. You know, you're not going to see me going out and doing something, and, and then you'd say, I knew he was a loner. Uh, but so, but I can't imagine, I'm hearing now, you know. And, that families get together for Christmas or Thanksgiving 
and or they're not, or else they're not getting together because over politics, they can't stand each other. That's that's you know that's unfortunate. Okay, I hope that this audio is working, and um, what's let's see what's coming. Well, I'm thinking about getting a new that new cell phone. I'm going to get the Panasonic, and you've seen some video from it a little bit. I'm going to start using it for uh, some video. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to do it, but I've been watching an awful lot. My wife and I, well, we're divorced. We've been divorced for uh, 30 or 40 years, but we share an apartment together. Um, when I first married her, I was 26 and she was 18. She had just, was just getting ready to open up a tropical fish shop. So in order to get the first date with her, you know, she tried to get out. I was 26. She was 18. Her parents owned a tavern. My parents went to the tavern. She thought I was probably like, you know, like my parents. Plus she thought, you know, too old for her. So she was trying to get out of, you know, I called her for a date and she said, well, I'm, I've got to set up the uh, f fish tanks, you know, and uh, for my fish shop and whatever. And I, I said, well, could I come by and just see you there? And she couldn't figure a way to get out. I went by, I filled up the fish tanks with water and took her to a drive-in movie. I know you probably don't know what drive-in movies are. Oh my God, you young whippersnappers. Uh, anyway. Uh, we got married. We had the tropical fish shop for, I think, three years. And after we sold it, I had no desire to, you know, never, I didn't ever want to see a fish tank again. Or, But I've been looking at some YouTube fish, you know, uh, businesses and looking at their tanks and online, that kind of stuff. And I'm thinking about maybe getting a, the fish tank for maybe maybe here and just decorate it really nice and so instead of you guys looking just strictly at my bald ugly old face you could see some beautiful plants back there and some fish and maybe if I did live streaming 24 7 I could just when I wasn't here doing something just have the camera aimed at the uh, at the fish tank or something. So I'm thinking about that. I'm not sure I'll go through with that. What else? Uh, I think that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And I'm going to upload this. And oh, I have my fingers crossed that the audio is OK. Um, with the embedded video the way I have it, let me drag this over again for you here. Well, let me minimize this so it doesn't confuse you. Um, the way I'm doing it here with this embedded, like that, I really can't expand it. Um, well, I think with these settings here, maybe I can get to where I can be doing this video and then you know have this go full screen now if I don't embed this and just call up the this video then I could just easily fill the entire screen or resize it and that type of stuff so um, I'll probably be working on on that I forgot which one do I want to push oh this one okay So, there we go. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. If, I know I hate to keep saying this, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I would like to get to 3,000 subscribers. Then as soon as I get to 3,000, I'm going <laughs> to be begging you so I can get to 5,000 subscribers or something. Thank you very much.